What's up everybody, Tbot here once again, this time with a quick, quick, quick tutorial on my brand new Mastermod plugin, which I'm going to be releasing pretty soon here on JuiceBar as well. This is a nice little add-on plugin for any of my other patches which you have uh, already purchased, and I would really, really love for you guys to give this a try, as this is probably going to make you get better results from everything else. Uh, release this as a separate plugin for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, not everybody uses the same thing. Number two, uh, this tends to be the same stack of effects that I use in order to create and uh, to fine tune my content input, whether it's a piece of actual video content or whether it is a uh, camera input. Typically, I'm doing things like adding a levels or a brightness contrast or you know one of a number of other things in order to get it the way that I want it before I drop it into my plugins. Um, using a piece of content from my friend Omni here, I've known this man forever. Uh, definitely check out VJ Omni if you ever get an opportunity to. He's been around forever and he's a badass. Uh, with that being said, let me go ahead and show you what some really basic things that this will do. Um, let's go ahead and just trigger this up. Now, let me go ahead and just load in with my effects here. If you look at my master mod plugins here, uh, this thing can be used in a lot of different ways too, um, but we're going to be really simple. You know, obviously you can drag it into the clip panel here, or you can drag it on top of the clip itself. Totally up to you which one you want to do. In this case, we are going to drag it right onto the clip itself. As you can see, um, let me just go ahead and zoom this up a little bit here so we can see a little bit more. Um, all that Tbot's master mod does is it adds a brightness and contrast, which is on by default. You have a levels, which is on by default, because those two are like the main, main ones that I use to, to get those brightnesses and contrasts and midpoints and everything else happy. As you can see, it allows you to adjust everything that you would by dragging a levels or a brightness or contrast from Resolume right into it, except it took one drag, and now you can create a preset that covers both of those presets automatically. Additionally, you have a threshold, which is useful in a lot of different cases, um, especially for making black and white or making other things to expose more alpha for my feedback machine. Uh, this is something that I've actually baked into, and all of these have actually been baked into the most recent version of my feedback machine, which will be released on Juice Bar soon enough. Um, and I did want to kind of s split these out into their own plugin as well because it does help to have these things in so many other cases. Um, I have a pre key add subtract. This is allows you to, if you turn it on, of course, allows you to uh, adjust the reds, the greens, and the blues in order to get a keying color. So the next thing here is a chroma key, which you can then adjust uh, in order to expose the alpha that you want within the clip. Um, so basically the add subtract allows you to create the color that you need in order to create a key color, which you can then pull out through chroma key. Um, again, threshold and pre-key add subtract, these don't work well together. So just keep that in mind. Uh, they're just kind of both here because they are both useful. You won't necessarily have all of this stuff turned on at the same time. Again, chroma key, we already have the same exact things that you would have inside of a chroma key. So if you've used chroma key feature inside of Resolum before, it is exactly the same thing. Um, after that, you have an auto mask. Again, chroma key and auto mask may not be used at the same time. Um, and I may actually notate that in here before I release. Um, but basically, you have the ability to flip that on and you have a uh, contrast control for that as well as an invert for whatever, you, whatever your auto masking desires are. After that, you have a post key color. So basically, this means that after it's keyed everything out. So if, for example, if I you know, get this into a place where I want like a blue, and then I do turn this on and I find where that blue key is, all right. But I want the rest of that stuff to be colorized. I can actually do that and I can colorize whatever's remaining in the clip after the key's keying process. So this is just a way for you to key it and then get color control over it. Um, this is useful really, really heavily for my plugins, but it may not be useful in a day to day. But in this case, I'm showing you anyway. Um, after that, uh, you've got the ability to invert that said color. So you can also just colorize here, and it's just the same thing as a colorize would be within your composition. I have to use colorize all the time, so this is super useful for me. Um, I'll make this red, just for just for shits and giggles. After that, you've got really simple things like a mirror, right? Um, this is something I use all the time, but I've also added in a mirror offset so that you don't have to add a, another transform or anything like that in order to get what you want. Um, flip X and all the other normal parameters that you would have within a mirror right here uh, at your fingertips and ready to go. Keep in mind that if you do bypass the mirror, um, the offsets are not part of that bypass. Uh, there is not an obvious way for me to do that inside of wire at the moment. I am working on it. So if you bypass the mirror and you have offsets set, those will remain offset uh, until you default them. Uh, after that, 
you've got a drop shadow. So if you are in a place where you have uh, keyed out part of your clip, like just like here, and you want to add a drop shadow that's a different color or something like that, this is something that you can do quite easily um, using this feature. Uh, offsets for the shadows on the X and the Y up to the full width of a frame. Uh, so that should cover most of that. Um, that's literally all it does. Um, it gives me all of these controls and all of these things, which I'm typically dragging on all individually, all in one drag and drop. And uh, if this is useful to you, or if you think of anything that I haven't put here, which is really commonly used, uh, please do let me know. But th this should be able to cover anything from you know clips like this to a camera effect or anything else like that. Um, it's it's really really straightforward, um, and there isn't really much to it. So hopefully this kind of stuff will help you um, in your further endeavors uh, in the BJ world. And um, yeah, good luck. And uh, yeah, see you next time.